Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a smaller number by a larger number, and we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, as we go through these problems, we're going to need to use a decimal point and placeholder zeros in order to go through our division process. So let's jump into number one and see exactly how we solve these types of problems. So for number one, we have six divided by 15. And the first thing we wanna do is set this problem up. Now, don't worry about which number is larger in value or smaller in value. That has nothing to do with how we're going to set this division problem up. We need to take a look at the order of the problem and what this problem means. So again, we have six divided by 15. So six is being divided or split up. So that's what we call our dividend. It's what goes under our division bar. Now 15 is what we are dividing by. It's what we call the divisor. So it is going to go on the outside. Now that may look like it's off or incorrect, but that is correct. We have six divided by 15. Again, don't worry about which number is larger or smaller when we set up division problems. This is not 15 divided by six. These are two different problems. 15 divided by six, the larger number in value would happen to be under the division bar and the six would be on the outside. But again, that's not what we have. We have six divided by 15. So we're starting with six holes and dividing or splitting it into 15 equal groups. So our answer is actually going to be less than one whole. So let's see how we solve this. And we'll start with our division process. So divide, how many whole groups of 15 can I pull out of six? Well, I can't do that, so zero. We cannot pull any whole groups of 15 out of six. Multiply, zero times 15 is zero. Subtract, six minus zero is six. So in order to continue here, we need to bring something down. So what we're going to do, we're going to place a decimal point after the six. So we can place a decimal point after a whole number. The value of that six is still six. We didn't change the problem at all. So once you place that decimal point, bring it straight up. That's going to place it in our answer correctly. So we need something to bring down. So what we can do we can place a zero to the right of that decimal. Again, that doesn't change the value of the six or the value of the problem, so we can do that. So now, let's bring that zero down and continue our process. So now we have 60 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 out of 60? Well, four, that hits 60 exactly. So four times 15 is 60 subtract, and we get zero, so we are done. Our answer is four tenths. Again, we got an answer less than one whole. Think about it. We split those six holes into 15 equal groups, so we didn't have enough for one hole in each of those groups. So we ended up with four tenths as our answer, or uh, the value of each of those 15 groups. So let's move on to number two, where we have 12 divided by 50. Again, don't worry about which number is smaller or larger in value. Worry about the order and what that problem means. So we have 12 divided by 50. So 12 is our dividend. It's what's being divided or split up. So that goes under our division bar and the 50 goes on the outside. Now we're all set up and ready to go through our division process. So how many whole groups of 50 out of one? Well, we can't do that. So how many whole groups of 50 out of 12? Well, we can't do that either. We can't pull a whole group of 50 out of 12. So let's put a zero there to hold this place. Zero times 50 is zero. Subtract, we get 12. So now we're stuck. So what we can do, we can use a decimal point and placeholder zeros. So let's put our decimal point after 12. Again, that does not change the value of our problem or that 12. Bring that decimal point straight up and that will place it correctly in our answer. So we need something to bring down. So what we can do, 
We can use a placeholder zero in the tenths place, again, doesn't change the value of anything, and bring that zero down. So how many whole groups of 50 out of 120? Well, two, that gets us to 100, and that's as close as we can get to 120. So two, let me extend this division bar there. Two times 50 is 100. Subtract, and we get 20. So we are still not done. So what we can do, we can use another placeholder zero. Let's place one in the hundredths place. Again, not changing the value of anything, and we can bring that down. So now we have 200 divided by 50. How many whole groups of 50 out of 200? Four, that hits 200 exactly. So this is going to be our last digit in our answer. But let's uh, wrap everything up with our process. So now we need to multiply. Four times 50 is 200. Subtract, and we get that clean cut zero. So our final answer is 24 hundredths. So our answer was less than one hole again because we took 12 holes and split that 12 into 50 equal groups. So those groups, each of those groups were less than a hole. And exactly, they were 24 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you divide a smaller number by a larger number. Use a decimal point and placeholder zeros. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.